Good morning, boys and girls. So today we are going to be starting on our final projects for our family crest or our coat of arms. So you are going to need that blank paper that was provided for you, your family crest packet, your sketchbook, and a pencil today. So what we are going to do is we're going to take a look at what we sketched out last week. In our sketchbooks. Let me find my sketch because I use this for all my grades. Okay, here we go. So you should have two sketches completed for this week. Now I only did one because I've done this like six or seven times already, so I know which ones I want to use. So the things that I needed you to include were your four symbols and at least a minimum of one detail. That means either um, some of those scrolly things on the top or a crown on the top, whatever you decided you wanted for your details that was in your packet anywhere in here. One of these considers one detail. So a minimum of one, but if you want a better grade, you do more. Now for our finals, you are going to choose the shield that you want. So I chose this one. And I can put my paper on top and I should be able to trace it just fine. So if, when you press it down, you should be able to see through enough for you to get the outline of your shield. So go ahead and real lightly sketch because then you can go in and make your lines nicer once you have them. So once you have your shield traced, you can then split it into four sections down the middle and across. So you want to make those as even as possible. Okay. From there, you can add those symbols that we talked about. Your symbols have to represent a place that is important to you in this one a hobby or an activity that is important to you or your family, an animal that represents you or your family, and any other symbol you want to include. So in last class's video, I explained um, the meaning behind my symbols. I made this, um, it's a place called Star Lake. We go to every year with my family. It's really important to us because it's all like our, our happy place. So. Um, sketch it out first, and then you can, when you're ready to color, outline it harder or go back over it, add more details. The more details, the better, my friends. So in this, I didn't add too many details. So what it really is, is it's like a, a dock. And then there's like this floating dock at the end usually an umbrella on it. So whatever yours are, you can go ahead and draw them in there. I'm going to fast forward through mine. So when you finish drawing your symbols, you can work on some of your details that you are going to include. I included the scrolls on the side and I included a crown on the top. I also included a sword as a divider between um, the sections in the center. When you finish with that, put it in a safe place for next week and have something to outline and color with. See you then!